So, uh, do I need a mic or anything? No, we're just going to use a normal microphone. You can go ahead and sit down. We're ready for you. Do you mind if I take notes? No. Uh, just make sure to take the cap off your pen or else everything I'll say will be a little pointless. So just go ahead and tell us your name and who you are. Hi, I'm Calvin Blaylock, and I'm the proud father of 17 college-age children. Pizza! Woo! Being the father of 17 children certainly has its ups and downs. I mean, it's extremely rewarding and fulfilling, uh, but it can also be a challenge as well. The prince grabbed hold of her hair like a rope. Dad, and that's a dad. Her hair would get whipped right out of her skull under that kind of tensile stress. Not to mention she'd have terrible split ends. I do my best, just like any good father, to mold these children into young and admirable men of God. Um, I do what I can. It's a little tough. You know, with all the new technology these days, all the kids want to do is stay inside and play Fortnite and Smash Bros. Griffin, you need to get outside and do something active and competitive. Um, I do the best I can to make them get outside and be active and competitive and athletic. I mean. Back in the glory days, I was quite the football player myself, and you know, part of me just enjoys living vicariously through these kids. Yes! Woo! Yes! Yes! I've greatly enjoyed being a mentor to my sons, but I've realized that for everything that I've been able to teach them, really they've been the ones teaching me. Look up videos about just anything, like the people pulling pranks on each other. What about more important stuff like politics? You know, I really just like to leave some kind and constructive comments for people. Well, the thing here is that you can't leave comments on YouTube. You, they don't exist. You've got Jeb. I mean, he sets the bar really high for all the kids, uh, but that's mostly because he's six foot six. And Cameron, oh, always getting into trouble and getting tied up and all sorts of things. Then you've got Will, who plays the trumpet. Loves Guitar Hero. Yeah. These kids have no idea what good music sounds like. Let me show you what we used to play back in my day. That's the lamest music ever. Gosh, you run everything. Then you've got Daniel. Just like all young children, he really enjoys climbing things. Chairs, tables, buildings, the usual. That's my boy! Fatherhood certainly has its challenges. Whenever these kids fall, you've got to pick them back up and clean off their scrapes and cuts and nicks. Andy, you're taking forever. You're taking up all the hot water. <sighs> when they break the rules, sometimes I've just got to lay down the law. What? Really? And you know, every time comes in a father's life where he's got to sit his son down and have some really difficult conversations. Any good father has to teach his kids how to be a gentleman with the ladies. But of course it's been hard for me to date having 17 kids. I should probably get going. You know, I actually forgot to tell you, I have 17 college kids at home I need to take care of and... So, how did you become the father of 17 college-age kids? How does any man really become a father? I mean, no man is a dad just because he has a son. You have to earn it. You have to gain their respect and their trust. Pass on your legacy and your knowledge. Mold them into the men that God designed them to be. Oh, yeah, that's really great, but I think you may have misunderstood my question. I mean, how did you literally come to be the father of these particular 17 college-age kids? That, my friend, is a story for another day. I've also done my best in the community to be a father figure to kids who might not get all the love they need at home. Then you've got Griffin and Kenny. These boys think that they're twins. They have no idea that one of them's playing. <laughs>